Affinity Photo comes with a new filter and it's called Glitch. This Glitch filter is great, but there's a few limitations, but there is also a workaround. And I'm gonna show you how to create some quite high impact visual effects with something like this. Now I'm using Pixel Mode, so Pixel Studio. And what you need to do is go here to Pixel and then New Live Filter Layer, and then just down to Distort and Glitch. You can also find it in the filters, but I'm gonna go with the Live Filter Layer. And the great thing about that is you can change it at any point. You can always go back to it and it just creates a layer. So select, and then you'll get this panel. And there's a lot of functionality, but in this video, I'm just gonna show just a brief few of them. Just gonna go through, say, this one, Shred. And what you can do, you can just change that. You can see vertical strength, and you can get a lovely effect like that. You can also go, say, for Aberration, and just change that. And you can see, as you do that, you can change the color. You can see the reds, greens, etc. Great thing about this filter is also there's an interactive feature to it and you can simply just click on the document and you can see as you do that, just drag around and you can see it distorts in a particular way. Now there is a limitation to this, which is unusual for the Affinity product. And that is the glitch strength just goes up to 100% which I'm surprised. I don't know why they just didn't go for 500% or 1000% because then you could create some really truly weird effects. But you can, of course, get around that. And I'm just gonna go for this one. Gonna go for Shred. I think it's a nice one. Creates this like lovely sort of square <laughs> effect where it puts parts of the, the face or obviously whatever you've got in different places. And of course you can modify the strength. You can modify the vertical strength you can see that goes down that way and moves there. Pixel spacing, and you can see that will increase there. So I'm just gonna go for something, something like that. But exactly the same as the other one, you can't push this beyond 100%. Previous versions of Affinity and many of the other panels, you could do this. You could put in 300, but it just puts it back to 100%, which I think is slightly annoying because why not push it to 200% or 500%? shift them in even more ways. But okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set it here, something like that. And now what I can do is I can just close it. So I've got that, but now I can go over here. Here's my layers panel. Obviously you can find that in window and then just go down here and there's an awful lot. They've got this general help, etc. So they've really made a lot of <laughs> panels I think it's gonna take a bit of time to go through these and find where all the panels are, if it's in the vector section, etc. And you can see you've got a whole range of different options there. But okay, got layers, that's the one I want. That's the only one I'm gonna be using this. If I go over here now, I can expand this out and you can see I've got a glitch here. Oh, I can duplicate this. Don't have to keep it just like that. So there, I can then right click, and duplicate. So all you do, right click and duplicate. So duplicate, and then you've got another one. And you can see the effect then, obviously you just change it even more. Let's just, just click into here. So just click it, just this bit, just click there. And now you can see the live glitch again. And you can tweak this and you can see now you get this lovely vertical strength and you can modify it in more ways than obviously just the basic 100% max and also Pixel spacing, you could just change that, maybe change it, it doesn't have to be the same. They're different, they're, they're independent. So you can then modify that. But also what you can do is you can go here to the blend mode. And let's just go here to say dark and multiply so you can create an interesting effect that way. Color burn, I think creates some very interesting effects when you combine it like that. And you can also go through lighten to create interesting designs like that and maybe lighter color or darker color and so on. Again, I can close that. And now again, right click. And again, just there to duplicate. And you can see then I get this effect and it's just creating an interesting combination of things. Again, click here. And again, interactively, I can move it on screen. 
So I think that's really even more powerful. And again, you've got here darker color where you don't have to have the same. You could go for soft light and so on. Create sort of like Dave McKean-like effect, I think. Create that sort of, and you can see as you do that, you glitch that, and move it backwards and forwards and stop there. Well, obviously I've got this, but also I can use other effects. You're not just limited to using the same effect, of course. You can now go in here and again, right click, duplicate. And with this, click here again and you get this panel. You've got the shred here. Well, go with aberration. That's the way you say it, aberration. And you can see then I can move this around. And as I do that, you can see that distorts there. And you've got this, I, we quite like this bit, channel ordering. Green, you can go through them. And they're very subtle, but they're interesting. They do create some variations. And also you've got here a number of channels you can manipulate. So you can tweak it. You personally just going to leave it at three, but you can push it down if you want. And glitch strength. And now you've got this bi-directional as well. So you can tweak it same. You've got the origin point. You can move it around and change this. Don't have to go with soft light. Maybe go with another one, lighter color and so on. Dark color or color button. One of those. I'm just going to go with that. Just make a decision on it. Okay. So you've got this very weird abstract design. And of course, I can then right click and duplicate. And you can see how this is going. It can get very, very dark. I think that would make a great film poster effect. You've got the, you still make out the image. You've got this, if it's a real sort of intense psychological drama, you could imagine having this sort of weird sort of distortion here. And again, click here and maybe try some of the others. There's a lot of them. Now, some of them are very subtle effects. Some are interesting color there. And I'm gonna go through them all in future videos. Quantization, I think creates a nice, interesting effect. Scramble and so on, something like that. You can see now you've got a very strange effect. Again, color burn, maybe go for lighten or difference and so on. You can see you can build up quite a complex design using, obviously in this case, just five glitch effects all combined to be applied to this image. And of course you could still have the original image still there. So you've got the background, you can just duplicate that and have that behind everything. So you've still got the image and also you've got all of these glitch effects added on top as well. So hope you found this of interest. As mentioned, I will go through some of the other filters as well that are available here. And before I go, just to remind you, also you've got pixel filters as well as down here, distort and glitch there. So you could just use it as just a standard filter effect. But this at least means when you go with the live filter layers is you could always go back to any of these at any point and just change your mind. So just click on it. And with that, you can change that horizontal strength. You can change the blend mode and so on. A whole range of different options. If you've just see even more possibilities with a slight variation in the settings and close. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, thoughts, let me know. Bye.